of the really neat things about Articulate Quizmaker is that there are so many different ways that you can provide feedback to your learners. We had a Quizmaker user today who had seen this example and she wanted to know how it was built because what's happening here is the learner is seeing a multiple choice question and there are unlimited tries given on the question and the user is getting customized feedback on a pop-up message if they answer incorrectly, but then they go to a different slide if they answer correctly. So watch what happens. We'll just go ahead and answer this incorrectly. We get a pop-up that's very specific to the answer that we chose so that that kind of helps us to know, you know, how to choose better the next time. And if we try again and we get the answer wrong again, once again, we're getting very specific feedback that relates to the answer choice that we picked. And then if we do answer correctly, instead of seeing that pop-up, we get taken to a completely different slide. So here's how you can set something like that up. If we close the preview here, we can look at our question list. And each multiple choice question in this quiz is designed the same way. If we open up this one right here, we'll see how this was done. First thing is on the feedback selector right up here at the top, we've chosen by answer for the feedback instead of using the default, which is usually by question. And this is what lets you define different feedback for each answer choice that the learner might click on. So right here in this feedback column is where you would set up that feedback text that you want to show up on the pop-up when the learner answers um, in an incorrect, you know, chooses the incorrect answer. You'll also notice up here that for attempts, I've set this to unlimited. So that just means that the learner is going to be able to keep on trying until they get the question right. And then if they do get the question right, here's what's going on. Check out this answer right here. This is the correct answer. And you'll see right here, the feedback column is blank for that one. That's because I got rid of all the text here because I didn't want the feedback pop-up to show up if they answered correctly. Instead, I wanted to branch them to a different slide. And that's what this little icon right here is showing us that there's been some branching that's been applied to this slide. And the place that you do that is by clicking this more button. If you click on that, this gives you a chance to get a little bit more specific with regard to the feedback that you create and some of the formatting, but it also gives you the chance to apply branching. So I just left that text area blank, but the branching area is where I told Quizmaker where I want to take the learner. And in this case, we're taking them to slide number five because that's the slide where I created that customized feedback for the correct answer. So that's pretty much all that you need to do. The other questions um, are set up similarly. So like if we open up this one, you'll see that the correct answer has no text for the feedback pop-up, but there is some branching that takes the learner to you know, a different slide, a blank slide in this case, um, that was customized with the feedback for the correct answer. So as far as workflow, what you'll want to do is set up your slides first, all of your you know, blank content and slides, as well as your multiple choice questions, and then go back through to those multiple choice questions and customize the feedback and set up your branching so that wherever you want the learner to see a blank slide instead of a pop-up, you can specify that in the question editor for the branching.